Berberine is an alkaloid. Think caffeine, nicotine. These are both plant alkaloids. In this case, from a variety of plants, barberry, golden seal, golden thread, Oregon grape. And the use of berberine does date back some 3,000 some odd years in traditional and, and ancient Chinese medicine. So a interesting backstory, but again, we want to see if the traditional uses for gut and for wound healing and for metabolism hold merit modern day when examined with science. So let's start off with weight loss. As many compounds do, they have and they exert interesting impacts. So in this case, the impact of berberine does improve fatty acid oxidation and thermogenesis and therefore energy expenditure. However, when we look at a 2023 umbrella meta-analysis looking at 13 studies, over 17,000 individuals being studied, the effect of berberine on weight loss was 1.9 pounds considered non-significant, leading the researchers to conclude our umbrella meta-analysis showed no significant differences in the changes in body weight following berberine treatment. So weight loss would be an area, I would say, berberine probably not going to be super effective. Conversely, there's some pretty compelling evidence regarding cholesterol. So let's walk through this data. Mechanistically, again, we see interesting changes wherein berberine will upregulate LDL receptors in the liver. This will help remove cholesterol from the blood. And simultaneously, kind of like a twofer here, you'll see a decrease in cholesterol absorption in the intestines. Looking at a 2023 meta-analysis summarizing 18 clinical trials across 1,700 individuals, they did find some pretty impressive benefits from berberine. A 18-point reduction in total cholesterol, a 18-point reduction in LDL cholesterol, a 13-point reduction in triglycerides, and an improvement by about 2.3 points in HDL cholesterol. Okay, so we can go even a step further, and we can compare directly a statin medication for cholesterol to berberine. There was a 2019 meta-analysis looking at 11 randomized controlled trials in over 1,300 patients comparing simvastatin, aka Zocor, to berberine. And I love these studies because they give us a real ability to say, well, my conventional doctor wants me to do this. What is the natural alternative? And when we can study them head to head, that I think gives a healthier consumer a pretty accurate ability to gauge the effectiveness comparatively. And when comparing, they found similar improvements in cholesterol total, LDL, and HDL. And there was actually a slightly better improvement in triglycerides favoring the berberine. As I've said before, it doesn't have to be either or, it can be both and. So as a part of this study, they looked at berberine combined with simvastatin, and they found an even better reduction in total cholesterol, although there was no additional benefit for LDL or for HDL. Now, the other thing here that I feel is very important to bear in mind, there were less side effects in the berberine group, either when given berberine alone or when berberine was combined with Zocor. Specifically, there was less elevation of liver enzymes and there was less muscle aches, kind of an AKA for this condition known as rhabdomyolysis, where you can have muscle damage due to the effects of the statins. So I find this pretty compelling. Now, there's not data looking at other statins, but boy, I would say this is and if it were me, I would certainly want to discuss with my healthcare team either using berberine alone or in combination due to similar effectiveness for cholesterol and less side effects. Also, as I did a little bit of digging on this, you see some studies looking at the effect of berberine to increase cardiac output, most specifically but not limited to left ventricular ejection. So, there might be multiple benefits that we see from a cardiovascular perspective when looking at berberine. So I would say definitely consider it for this area. Blood sugar is another area wherein you hear claims about berberine. And this is because you can see improvements in 
insulin and glucose, either sensitivity or uptake, in part by modulating certain enzymes known as SIRT1 and AMPK. Looking at a 2021 meta-analysis, in this case of 46 randomized control trials, looking at over 4,000 people, quoting, berberine showed effectiveness in lowering blood glucose comparable with metformin. So we have yet another study comparing drugs to berberine and showing pretty impressive effects. Now, there's another point here regarding blood sugar I wanted to make sure to share with you. Looking at a 2023 meta-analysis of 20 randomized control trials, they found a fairly large impact on hemoglobin A1c. So a 2.6 percentage point reduction in hemoglobin A1c when using berberine. And that is a fairly decent jump or improvement. So if we're seeing similar effectiveness for metformin and berberine to lower blood sugar, how is it that we're seeing a better reduction or a really substantial reduction in hemoglobin A1c? Well, bear in mind that as good as and helpful as hemoglobin A1c is, it's an indirect measure of about two to three months of what your blood sugar has looked like. Looking at oxidation of hemoglobin, the higher blood sugar is, the more oxidation there will be. However, inflammation also increases oxidation. So what you'll see in some people is this paradoxically elevated hemoglobin A1c, meaning they have normal blood sugar, yet they have unhealthy and elevated hemoglobin A1c. Part of the reason this can happen is because these people have elevated inflammation. This explains why we see such an improvement in hemoglobin A1c with berberine. Looking at a 2023 meta-analysis, they found that berberine reduced inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, and TNF-alpha. So as it pertains to blood sugar, it seems that we almost get this sort of two for one benefit again, improvements in blood sugar, but also improvements in inflammation, which improve this proxy for blood sugar, hemoglobin A1C. So for both inflammation and for blood sugar, I think it's worth considering berberine yet again.